So I'm just <clears throat> enjoying a nice quiet afternoon here with uh, the horses in the field there keeping an eye on me. And we've got these little rock chucks running around here. Just move to another location. Be very alert. They're all busy. Birds are nesting. Apple trees, pear trees, cherry trees, they're all starting to bloom. And the horses are eating the grass right down to the ground, about a quarter of an inch. Those things can eat and eat and eat. Piggies. So, it's a nice afternoon here. Uh, you can't see Mount Hood. From here, Mount Hood would be that way. Unfortunately, there are trees in front, or I mean clouds. And right there, you can see Mount Adams through the clouds. Let me zoom in on Mount Adams. So it is a very nice, peaceful little spot that I have to camp and relax. Oh, now if you look way out there behind the horses, you see one of those little rock chucks running. They're such busy little critters. campers here. Those are the pear trees and the apple tree at the end. I guess the pears are blooming. The apple is a little slower than them. I saw some of the uh, rock chucks over here running in and out of the pipes earlier. These here little huts. The previous owner of this uh, ranch grew llamas here. So if you look off into the distance there, you see the remnants of 60s era muscle cars. Bonus points if you can name what that is. That's a four-door version, so it's not as highly sought after, but it did have bumpers and other parts, taillights, salvageable parts that can be used in the more popular version of the car. A scaffold. Railroad ties. Oh, if you look over here, you can see deer right there. It's one of the things that the unknown mechanic loves about his property. There are critters all over the place. Oh, there's two of them there. Three, four of them there. You 
can just see that one, that one. So it's nice to have some deer hanging around. They piss Dave off though because they keep eating his cedar trees. Okay, bonus, bonus points. What car is that? Yes, tribute to 60s era muscle cars. And what is that? Mount Adams. Stupid lens. And a horse trailer, car trailer. Okay. Yeah, so the deer, they're just grazing. No one's going to bother them here. Those rolls are bitumous clay impregnated liners and you can use those to make ponds and that's something that Dave wants to do is make ponds. If you heard the squeak, that was another one of those rock chucks. Mount Adams, again. And Dave has these... Um, pipes. High density polyethylene pipes to carry water throughout his property. And he uses those so that he doesn't have any water loss. Okay, coming back through the barn. The horses are all out grazing. And here we have the truck camper again. There's that fenced off field there is where Dave has gardens. Lots of uh, good compost, horse manure in there. Stuff grows like crazy in it. Okay. And of course now I have music going which Always has copyright issues, so I will turn that down for a second. And so here's what we're doing for dinner country style pork ribs, and I'm just frying up a bunch of them to have so that I can chop them up and use them for burritos and put in uh, rice dishes and vegetable dishes. So it's kind of nice to have some uh, ready cooked um, pork ribs laying around. Um, yeah, what I'm going to do tonight is I'm just going to make a little pork burrito for myself. Okay. And there you go. Quick and easy, just a piece of... Uh, Country pork spare rib cooked in uh, Tony Sachery's Cajun seasoning with garlic, Italian herb, and some chili powder. And then I put some spinach, uh, holy guacamole, shredded Tillamook uh, Mexican four cheese blend, 
and I have a quick little uh, dinner. <laughs>